Hello Year 7s, it's Mr O'Mara here. I just wanted to have a quick talk to you to recap what we talked about today in literacy. What we were talking about is the first paragraph of your persuasive piece, which is the paragraph that we all know is called the introduction. There's actually only one really big job for the introduction, and this is true of introductions, whatever style of writing that you're doing. The job of the introduction is to answer the question in your audience, audience's mind, which is what's going on here? You don't want people to be disoriented or confused, so it's basically a big signpost saying, this is what I'm here for, you know, this is what I'm about. So, your first couple of sentences are going to do the following jobs. First is, you are going to spell out your topic, and you're going to spell out your contention. Your topic is basically, what am I talking about? And the example I used in class is, you might be saying, I want to talk to you today about junk food, or about fast food. Um, and then you would go on and say, and I'm here to tell you that people eat too much junk food and you should do less of this. And that would be your contention. Your contention is what you want the audience to think. So if you're looking for these pieces of information in a piece, they'll often be there in the introduction and they'll often be what the reader starts with. Sometimes a reader will open with a story that illustrates their point, but fairly early in the piece you're going to see topic and contention and sometimes they're rolled together. Sometimes you will see sentences in there, and you would have seen these in one of our activities today, that is just fleshing out the topic a little bit. So you might say, you know, hello, I'm here to talk to you about junk food, and that's your topic. Uh, last year, junk food was a $9.2 billion business in Australia. And that's not really meant to persuade you of anything in particular. It's just establishing, it's getting interest from the reader. It's basically saying, I know what I'm talking about with this topic. Here's a little something maybe you didn't know. So you have your topic, then your contention, and then you actually just trot out what are the three main points that I want you to understand. The thing is that these three main points should add up to the person accepting your contention. So for instance, if I'm trying to convince you that you should eat less junk food, then one of my main points is not going to be, man, I love a good cheeseburger. You know, you're going to be talking about the things that will convince people that it's not a good idea. Um, so these three things, if believed individually, um, should add up to you thinking, yeah, you're right, I should be eating less junk food. And then you close off your contention with a restatement of it. So here's an example of what I'm doing, and I'll get you to see if you can spot what the various parts are. So the first sentence, hello, I'm going to talk to you today about eating junk food. Lots of you are not going to like to hear this, but I think that you should be eating less junk food than you currently are. First of all, junk food isn't particularly healthy. It has lots of calories and lots of fat and not all that many nutrients. The second thing that I'm going to talk to you about is that junk food often doesn't taste as nice as food that's pre carefully prepared or the stuff that you could make at home. So you're doing yourself a real disservice with junk food. And the third thing that I want you to understand is that junk food looks cheap, but when you think of the nutrition and what it's doing to your body and the and how a lot of it can hurt your health, then really it can end up being quite expensive. So, what I want you to remember is that you're probably eating too much junk food and I think it would be good for you if you ate less of it. Now, hopefully, you're able to go through that and look at each thing, and I've tried to make them pretty clear. I'd encourage you to rewind it, listen to it again, and see if you can actually say, yes, he's talking about contention. Yes, that's the first point. Yes, that's the second point. So that's basically what we talked about today and you should have done the associated activities and we'll see you soon for more of our persuasive work.